Ronit Sachi Fainaro, Tel Aviv University, identifying molecular signatures of tumor dormancy as a basis for the rational design of precision nanomedicines. Hello. Our work is based on a fascinating study that was done around 20 years ago in Sweden on thousands of autopsies that uh, were done on people that died of trauma, such as car accidents. And they found that almost between half to nearly all had tiny in situ carcinomas in different organs at the size of one millimeter and all were avascular, avascularized. We call them tumor dormancy. And for this phenomenon, we were curious to see what are the different manifestations, where the first is one of the early stages of primary tumor development, the second, a manifestation of a micrometastatic disease, and the third is minimal residual disease following treatment or surgery. So we will focus today on the micrometastatic disease, looking at it a bit on a philosophical way, and deciding if, uh, whether the uh, behavior of those metastatic cells are those of a tourist arriving to a new ground, testing all the, car all the local inhabitants, uh, being curious and interacting with them, or whether they are more of an ambassador type, being, showing off all their characteristics from their own uh, uh, origin, origin country, being the primary tumor, or maybe they are refugees, more of a type trying to be uh, under the radar of the immune system and trying to hide and mimic the local inhabitants being the microenvironment of the pre-metastatic niche that waited for them. So in order to answer these questions, uh, we decided to create models of dormant and fast-growing tumors originating from the same parental tissue, then characterizing them by uh, genomics and proteomics, later looking at the different deregulated genes and proteins and uh, looking at their, effect, their effects on proliferation, migration, invasion, invasion, tumor growth, and metastatic colonization. And those targets that we find as druggable targets being validated in all those assays to create new theranostic, therapeutic and diagnostic nanomedicines that will turn on upon activation by that uh, enzyme that we found to be overexpressed in that certain tumor and then test them in vitro, in vivo, and in clinical tissues. But we saw that this is going <coughs> taking too much time and we moved to patient-derived xenograft that is around nine months and still too much time. So we thought we have to think out of the box. And for that, we used 3D printing where we take a CT scan or an MRI from a, a patient, doing the image analysis, then recreating with a chunk of his tumor by 3D printing and creating creating about 100 mini tumors, testing in a microfluidic system the different nanomedicines that we created. And an example for that is an osteosarcoma study where we managed to regress back to dormancy. Thank you very much.